Good morning, everybody. Yesterday I made a video on uh, just being a good listener when people are telling you about their trauma and their pain. Our immediate reaction is, I have to fix them. I have to come up with something that will cure all their ills. No, you don't. We just, it takes practice, but we just have to be present with them, listen, and let them get it off their chest. It's a healing process for them. And we don't have to be the healer. We just have to be the listener. And another thing we need to do is to be a good gift receiver. When people are down and out and they're low and they're in the mud and the dark, they like to do things to other people to try to lift themselves up. It's not that they're necessarily doing a good deed for you, but they're doing it for themselves. And when I was in jail and in prison, I was always giving out stuff. Guys would be like, you know, you keep giving your coffees out and you keep giving your, your sweets out. These guys are vultures. They'll never leave you alone. Well, I wasn't there to jail. And I was so low. I had suicidal fantasies. I was horribly depressed, racked with anxiety about a, a life sentence hanging over my head that I had to do good deeds for others just to make myself feel better, to feel like a human. I didn't want to become this jailer. I was in there, I gave away socks, underwear, coffee, sweets. I wrote letters for people. I wrote to family members, girlfriends. I wrote to judges, to public defenders, whatever people needed. And I did it for myself. <laughs> I did it for them, obviously. But I, I could have easily just not given anything out to anybody. I could have just stayed in my hole. But I did these things in order to get myself out of the hole. I did it to lift myself up from, from the darkness I was in. And when I was in prison, I did the same thing. I would give out soups. I would give out coffee. And... There was a, uh, a young gangbanger, blood gangbanger, who was in there with a long, long sentence. And I had heard what his violent crime was, but I wasn't there to be the judge in prison because every guy's in there for something. And a lot of them lie to you what they're there for. So if I want to start investigating each guy and what he's there for, it would drive, it would drive myself nuts. So I just, you know, I didn't want people judging me and I wasn't judging others. And there was this young, uh, you know, blood in there for a long, long stretch. And I would always give him coffee and soups and sweets and whatever he needed. I didn't care. And one day, and he, and I know he had nothing. He's, you know, when you, when you're doing a 20 to 30 year stretch, your friends, your, your homies, your buddies, your family, they'll be there in the beginning and then it just slowly wanes and disappears and you're pretty much left on your own. So as far as commissary money, I knew he didn't have much of anything. And yet one day he came to me after commissary and went to hand me a bag of coffee. I'm like two, three months away from my release. And he's going, and I had plenty of coffee. And he went to hand me a, a bag of coffee. And I'm like, what's this for? He's like, you've always uh, been giving me stuff and I just want to repay it. And I refused to take it. I'm like, dude, I, I'm not taking it, man. I'm like, I have plenty of coffee. Uh, just worry about you know what you have. And uh, you, know, you don't have to worry about me. And... He got offended and he got pissed off and he said, Clark, you're not the only one who wants to feel better about themselves by doing something nice for someone else. And he walked away and I ruined his moment to feel better about himself by doing something nice for me. Even though I didn't need it, I should have accepted it. So when somebody wants to do something nice for you, it doesn't have to be a tit for tat you get a gift, you get a present, you get uh, somebody helping you out, and now you feel you have to do something back. And then you just basically erase 
what they just did for you. It's not how it works. Allow, allow people to do things for you, nice things for you, nice gifts, nice, nice gestures, and don't feel you immediately have to pay them back because then you're just taking away their glory. They're, they're, they're probably doing it to feel better about themselves. So be a good gift receiver. Peace.